So hey there everyone, as always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich, and nine times out of 10, we're talking about drones, mobile technology, building our small drone businesses, and more. I have been missing for a couple of weeks. My apologies to our regular audience. We're gonna get things going again. I've been out due to some medical shenanigans going on over the last few weeks. I think we've got everything straightened out. So I'm looking forward to getting back to work and to helping you grow your drone businesses as well. So what are we talking about today? I wanted to do a simple topic because I still get these questions. I, like I said, I've been down for three weeks, but I still get a lot of contacts through my main website, through YouTube, and through our class sites, teachable.com and Udemy. And I get people saying, hey, I'm not getting, I'm not reaching the people I need to reach and my website's not doing it for me. So today I want to talk about my top five tips for growing your online presence so that people find your drone business. And so let's get started here. Tip number five has nothing to do with your own website. Tip number five, before you start building your website, have you created a Google My Business page? If you haven't created a Google My Business page, I'd suggest starting there because Google is going to be very helpful in finding you pretty quickly when it comes to the Google My Business page. So what we're seeing on screen here, um, we've got my Google Chrome up and I just did a search for Prescott Drone Pilot. And under Prescott Drone Pilot for that quick search, we've got AZ Drone. Hey, that's me, I manage that one. And we can go in and take a look at it. It's got my phone number. It's got a link to my website. Um, it has customer reviews and it's got some additional information as well. You'll see that other folks popped up. But whenever you do searches, you're often going to get some of those Google My Business pages when you're doing your own searches for things you're interested in. And so here, you know, just building that simple Google My Business page will help drive traffic to your main web page. So that's tip number five, and it's a good place to actually start. Tip number four, you don't have to work on your drone business site constantly. You do not have to have it up in a day, all right? It takes time to build our websites, and let's get off of the Google My Business here really quick, and let's just go to azdrone.net which is our main business website for our drone work here. And let me just move one thing, there we go. But so on this site, this site was not built in a day. This site was built over the course of weeks and months, and it's continuing to have additions on a regular basis. So what you can do is start roughing things out. I'd say first do your main page and make sure that your main page introduces your business and introduces the types of services that people can expect from you. Um, let me take a look right here on my notes for you. Um, yes, you can build your website incrementally, okay? So it, it, it always feels super overwhelming. I've got to put all this information up and you know, uh, it, sometimes it'll shut you down before you even start. But if you start business building and website building slowly and surely, maybe pick a page and a topic every week and add to the, your website that way. So on this website, we do have, we've got our drone services listed. We've also got examples of 360 virtual tours, the classes that we teach, real estate pricing, our real estate gallery, about us and a contact form. So we want to make sure people can contact us as well. So suggestions, if you're into multiple, um, multiple parts of drone services. Let's say you do construction work, you do residential work, maybe you do agricultural work. Each of those is an independent page where you can give more descriptive, um, you know, more description and meaning to everything that you do at your site. So there we go. All right, tip number three is be sure to have your contact information throughout your site. So you saw I've got my contact form, but I also have our phone number, our email addresses. So throughout all, all of our pages, if you look at the top of every one of our pages, we do have our phone number, uh, AZ Drone. And like I said, throughout the site, we do mention our service area. So Northern Arizona, Arizona as well. And then we introduce some of our topics. So some of the services that we're offering. And then we do more in-depth pages for things like our construction, our photography, our, and our video work as well. 
and our, um, our progression reporting over time. So like I said, this site has come together over time and it's not the most gorgeous site. It's pretty utilitarian, but that's okay because the site actually does pull people in. So, and that's when we're gonna get into tip number two and you can make a gorgeous website. That's fantastic, all the power to you. Um, but you need to have information in that gorgeous website as well. I've been contacted by a lot of other drone pilots here in 2023 who are saying, can you come take a look at my website? What am I doing wrong? The number one thing that I see people doing wrong is they build beautiful websites. They build all of these great slideshows, photos, videos, but they don't put text in there. Now, anybody familiar with chat GPT knows that text is actually very important. We've got AIs to write text for us now, right? Well, that text is part of our search engine optimization. Let's say you put a bunch of images on your front page and maybe a sentence or two. I'm sorry to tell you, Google's not gonna find you based on that. Google reads your web page, So it actually reads it like a person. And it says, oh, you know, Rich mentioned, um, Rich mentioned Prescott, Arizona several times on each of these pages. I think he's in Prescott, Arizona. And then Rich mentioned uh, drone construction progression reporting. I think he does that. We need to scatter our keywords throughout our site. So it's, it's great to have a visually compelling website that showcases what you do. But if you don't tell people about what you do, you could be missing out on a lot of that SEO redirecting to your website. So make sure that you have words on your web pages. Seriously, Google, uh, when Google watches your videos, it doesn't listen to your videos. So if you put a gorgeous video up, it's just going to have a gorgeous video there. So be sure every one of your, um, every one of your pages has content. And I just want to show this to you. I'm going to pull up the website, um, word counter here. And um, let's make sure there's the AZ drone. And um, let's just copy my URL and we're gonna put it into, so there are multiple SEO programs out there that will help you optimize your SEO, or you can use a simple free tool like the web page word counter. And I'm gonna count the words for my main page. So non-common keywords. So this is most likely what Google is gonna think my website's about too. Drone, services, aerial, estate, real. Okay, so real estate, data, construction, roof, Arizona, um, photography, and several other things. And let's just go to one of our other pages, construction services. And I'm gonna go ahead and steal that URL again. And let's pop that right on in here. And let's see what we say about construction. Okay, there's 1,081 words on that page. So I do have some descriptive information there. Drone data, construction, aerial project services. So we're doing drone services um, in the realm of construction. So this gives me a good idea if I'm hitting some of those keywords. Like I said, there are tools out there to help you hit your keywords. We used to use SEMrush, but we've actually stopped using it because prices kept going up on it. But that was a great building, uh, building location for us for our search engine optimization. So make sure to have content that goes beyond images and video. All right, tip number one, following on tip number two, uh, the number one mistake that I see other drone, our drone business owners do is heading heavily into the graphics and the video like we were discussing. Google searches your, uh, your website based on words you use. Often when I talk to some of my web clients, I say to them, words, 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 we need some words on these pages. You've displayed beautiful paintings. You've displayed a really cool RV park. Describe it because these are the keywords that are going to drive people into you. Now, I quickly had mentioned before chat GPT, we do have new AI tools out there that can help people who aren't great at writing actually write some compelling information for their drone services. So I would suggest checking out chat GPT, giving it a try, and I'm not kidding here. I actually, I forgot that I left this tab up, but I was using chat GPT for some other information, um, including is doing one piece of information about building our drone business web pages 
for this video. So there you go. Um, and so I said, you know, I said to ChatGPT, um, give me five tips for building a successful uh, drone business website. So highlight your unique selling points. That's what we were talking about before. Use high quality visuals because we do want to show them that stuff in addition to the words we're using. Make sure it's mobile responsive. Yeah, that's kind of a given these days. And um, let's see here, make it easy to navigate. Of course, you don't want people clicking all over the place and having to dig 20 pages down to find your information about one of your services. And include clear calls to action. Tell people to sign up and visit you today or contact you today. So that's what ChatGPT gave me. But the top five that I just listed to you are my own personal top five from things that I've been seeing. All right, everybody, I do have to say it's great to be back. I'm glad to be up and around again and feeling a lot better. So we will start seeing more videos, more instructional tutorials over at classes.azdrone.net. And if you wanted to learn a little more about building websites for your clients and for your clients' data, over at classes.azdrone.net, we do have a, uh, a new class that covers building a website like our See My Build website. So See My Build is a site that I do for our clients to help track some of their projects. Not all of our clients are hosted on it. And some of our clients are not featured here because they don't want to show their stuff publicly. So we actually build private pages for them as well. So if you're looking into building your drone business website and drawing in more traffic, um, go ahead and take a look at See My Build and azdrone.net and consider stopping by classes.azdrone.net drone.net and signing up for our class where we take you step by step through building a website that allows you to track projects for your clients and allows you to share those projects with your clients and they can then share it easily um, with other folks involved in their build outs. All right, once again, everyone, great to be back. Great to see you all. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. We'll see you again real soon.